building next door and nobody was hurt. It was invented as a backyard pastime back in 1965. Now it's actually an organized sport represented by national and international governing bodies that can be played by the young and the old alike. Tom Pippen says you might want to just try it. Just don't let the name scare you away. Embarrassment. My wife introduced me to it, and I was a little skeptical, particularly with the name. Uh, but I came over and was able to play. Welcome to the world of pickleball. It's a racket sport which combines elements of badminton, tennis, and table tennis. Players use a hard paddle and a wiffle ball. The folks who play at Range Line School in Mequon twice a week swear by it. This is just great. You meet so many new people, so many nice folks. You, you don't need a partner to come out and play this game, so whoever hears about it and wants to check it out comes in and they meet all of us people having so much fun and they decide they're going to come back. This is the uh, best four hours of the week for me. I play at least two hours a week, one here and one at the Y, and there's just nothing I'd rather do than uh, be out here with this game. Well, I tell you, pickleball is fun, but you have to be careful not to come into this kitchen area unless it bounces once. Otherwise, you could get caught with your hand in the cookie jar. You might say, I got pickled. Speaking of which, how did this sport get its name? One of the families had a dog named Pickles, and when the ball would get away from the people on the court, Pickles would, would grab it, take it, hide it under a bush. So they started calling it Pickles Ball, and then from that it became Pickleball. First you have to spend 15 minutes explaining to somebody what it is, but then if you talk about a, a, a combination of uh, ping pong, badminton, tennis, it starts to come around. People say, hey, I'd like to try that. So that's one way we've gotten new people to do it. For these people, pickleball is good on more than one level. Camaraderie, you know, just a great group of people. There's very few turkeys, and if there are, they, you know, that are arguing line shots, we suggest they maybe go somewhere else. And it's just fun, but great exercise. It's wonderful, and it gets you going, and you meet all new people here. Even everybody's kind of local, but you just didn't know them in all these years, and maybe some you did know, but right now you just have a bunch of people that enjoy the same thing you do, and we're glad we can still be moving. Just ask Bill there. He's had two hip replacements and is still going strong. In fact, he told me the last time he went to a doctor, he was told they're good and tight. So maybe you're thinking you'd like to give pickleball a try yourself, no matter what your age or skill level, but you're a wee bit hesitant. This is an easy group to come and join and just watch it. We'll take you under our wings and we'll give you personal instructions. So before you know it, at the end of two hours, you'll be on court playing pickleball. If you do decide that pickleball's for you, have at it. But come prepared to give it your best shot. You know, it's a good time, but I can tell you're all pretty competitive too, hey? Well, Yes. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, that's you know, okay. even you don't though have to even though you forget the score of the game once the game's over, it's nice to win once in a while. It seems that these fine folks are winning in every way. Tom Pickleball Pippins, Fox Six Sports. And you can just Google Pickleball Wisconsin to find places to play and information about clinics in our area. And notice one of the people you interviewed was named Stan Smith. Oh, yeah. Who was a famous tennis star. Really? American tennis star. I didn't know that. Got me wondering. I wonder if it's the same Stan Smith. I wonder. It I mean, same thing, same skill level, perhaps. Mm. Interesting. American Idol building up to the big moment tonight with some of the biggest.